Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's good? What's good, man? Hey, it's A half in the back of the building, man. So today, I'm finna be going over the top three best investments that'll make you millions of dollars, bro. Yes. So listen, if you're not making a bag off this video, bro, I don't know what you're doing because this is some free game for y'all and y'all finna be making a whole bunch of money off this shit. So listen up, pay attention, and just soak in the game. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go one through three and number one is gonna be like the most conservative Number three is going to be the most aggressive, but you know, since number three is the most aggressive, it is more risky, but it's a higher chance of making more money. So that, that's how I'm going to break it down. So you want to stay tuned. Don't skip any part of this video, bud. Just listen to it. And let's hop straight into it, bro. So number one, a high yield savings account. You want to open up a high yield savings account. If you have your money sitting in a, savings, a regular savings account or you have cash, stop doing that. Like, listen, bro. It's nothing wrong with having like like a, a emergency fund of you know money that you can access quickly, whether that's cash or in the bank. But you don't want the majority of your money tied up in a savings account or in cash. That's not making you money. You want your money making you money, right? So if you have a bunch of access cash or a bunch of you know access money just sitting in your bank and not doing nothing, making fucking one percent interest, don't don't do not do that, bro. Find a good reputable bank. And you want to invest in a high yield savings account. Now you could do a, a CD, um, you know. But the thing about the CD is, I don't like that you can't touch the money until the the time is up. So if you get like a six month CD, you can't touch the money until, until the six month period is over. And um, I don't like that. I would rather do a high yield savings account because I can take my money out whenever. Now the 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 only downside is that I believe you know depending on the bank you choose. You can only um, take out your money like a couple times a month, but I mean, bro, if you're if you're just if if you don't need the money right away and you're trying to invest it and you're trying to let your money make money, you shouldn't be taking out that money anyway. But let's say you have an emergency, you're able to take that money out with no penalty. Again, it's it, it's like a certain amount of times you can take the money out in like a month. I think it's like. Uh, Maybe like three, you can't take your money out maybe three or four times in a period, which is like a month. But um, I'm not too sure. But but yeah, you at least have a couple a couple chances where you can take your money out, no problem, risk free, penalty free. So yeah, man, open a high yield savings account. And most of the time, most of the rates, especially now, bro, a lot of the banks are offering like three percent, four percent. Um, yeah, you definitely want to get into that. And you you know you're making four percent. Every year, you know what I'm saying? It may not seem like a lot, but bro, I'm telling you that it it it, it definitely compounds. You put in a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, and you just let that money bubble and bubble and bubble. I'm probably you you're gonna be making a tons of money. So I would only do this with money that you don't need right away and um just let that shit grow. But you want to open up a high yield savings account, and it's a lot of banks that that offer this, like um, I believe SoFi, Capital One, Discover. Um, it, it's a bunch of banks, but just look them up. And the thing is, you can look up the different banks and compare the rates. But um, yeah, man, you want to pick a, a a good reputable bank. And here's the other thing about that: I would not choose a bank that's just an online bank because if something goes wrong, you know, God forbid, you know, you having problems seeing your money or you whatever. Who knows? Something may happen, right? You don't want to be stuck where you're trying to email people and call people and there's no physical bank you can go into. Like, I would recommend only opening a high yield savings account with a bank that has a physical location. Just in case something goes wrong, you can go into the store and talk to actually talk to somebody. And you know what I'm saying? They can help you out with your um with, with, with your with your issue. But um, yeah, man. So I wouldn't recommend like these these online banks. Like I think so far it's like one of them online banks, but I would just pick a bank that has a physical location and offers a high yield savings account. So put your money in a high yield savings account. Number two, stock market. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all know this. Uh, now, I'm going to say stock and Bitcoin. I'm not too big into Bitcoin because it's like a lot of it is gimmicky. A lot of it is just scamming, especially like all these bullshit coins like Dogecoin and and all that other bullshit. Like really only I would only invest in Bitcoin, honestly, but Again, it's a lot of money to be made on the stock market and on the in the crypto market. So if you're good with crypto and you know how to trade it, cool. 
Personally, what I would recommend for you, if you're just a beginner and you're not a, like a crypto or stock guru, you don't know how to recharge, you don't know how to predict it and see the future, I would recommend just um, uh, investing in the stock market and investing like SPY or invest in the Dow Jones or invest in QQQ. Um, actually, I, yeah, I would recommend SPY because SPY basically um, follows the market. And if you look, if you go on SPY's chart, like the max, like the um, like if you look at the max chart, you'll see that it's constantly been going up, bro. Listen, you can't tell the future. You can't tell the future. I mean, of course, stocks could just plummet out of nowhere, but the likelihood of that happening is slim to none. If you look at the history of SPA, it's been, it's been making a constant uh increase for years. Like, bro, like the stock market has increased like fifteen percent. Like it has a fifteen percent gain every year. On average. So it's like, bro, you're making 15% on your money every year. You know what I'm saying? Like, just look, just look at the history of it, bro. I'm a, I'm a huge believer in history dictates the future. And yeah, man, if you look at the, um, the, the uh, charts for it, you will clearly see that um, the stock market has been making an increase for the, you know, 15% over the past hella years, bro. Not even like the past couple years, for hella years. It's, it's, it's been a constant uphill. Of course, the stock market has its, has its downturns and, you know what I mean, has, has different things going on like COVID or whatever, but that's when you want to invest. So, you know, for number two, I would say invest in a stock like SPY or QQQ, something that follows the majority of the market. And um, you want to, and the thing is you want to get in low. So invest when it's really red, when it's really down, when politics going on, they talking about a government shutdown, they talk about a pandemic, they, they talking about a whole bunch of shit, war, whatever the hell is going on. When it's red, invest. I promise you. Invest. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, the stock market's falling. It's never going to come back up. Fuck what people say, bro. Look at the chart. It's been making a constant increase for the for, for years. They've like, come on, bro. When it's red, invest in that shit. So I would suggest like SPY or VU, which is V-O-O, -O, something that follows the majority of the market. And you're guaranteed to make like at, le like at least 15% on your money every single year. So yeah, man, do that. And, and also the thing about that is I would recommend keeping it long-term, keeping it for over a year because you get taxed less. Keep that junk for over a year. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so you don't get hit, hit with them big ass taxes and you, you're not flagged as like a, a short-term trader. Now, number three, the last investment. Now this investment is probably going to make you the quickest money, um, out of the other two. The other two are like kind of like passive income. You know what I mean? Like you probably won't make a million off it unless you already have a big bag to invest or, you know what I'm saying? You probably won't make a million until like years down the road. But this is, this nine times out of 10 is what's going to make you a millionaire. Investing into another business. So listen, man, if you got a business or maybe you're not really the entrepreneur type, but you, uh, your friend has a business or somebody you know has a business and you see that it's profitable, profitable. You want to invest in that shit, bro, because I'm telling you that that is what's going to make you the money. So I have like I know I made a video about this uh, before I sell like streetwear. And what I do, I invest in my business. I buy more street clothing. Um, I, I buy more um, like equipment to help me sell my clothes. I pay for advertisement. You know what I'm saying? Invest in your business. Invest in yourself. So whatever you do, if you sell clothes, if you sell food, whatever you do, invest in it, buy better equipment, but only invest in it if you see, if you see potential and you're, and you see revenue, you know what I mean? You don't want to invest in something that's not, that's not profitable. So if you like, if you sell fucking, I don't know, if you sell gym equipment and nobody's buying it, only one pe one person's buying it a month, I would invest a whole bunch of money into it. Invest into something that you see is profitable, something that you're making money off of and, and scale it up. Maybe you're drop shipping. You have a Shopify store. Maybe whatever you do, bro, invest in that. Or if, like I said before, if you personally don't have a business and your friend has a business, maybe your friend has a clothing business and it's like you see potential in it, invest in him. And then, um, you know, when, when, the, when the money starts coming in, you get a piece of that money. So, yeah, man, again, these are all ways in which money, like your money, can make even more money. And that's how you want it to be. But you don't want to just have a bunch of money laying around not doing nothing. You want your money to make money. So I'm going to go over the top three again. Number three, 
was a high yield savings account. Number two was the stock market, preferably SPY or VU. Again, unless you're some stock guru who can just, who can trade charts and day trade and make $1,000 a day, which I'm not one of those people, I would suggest investing in SPY or VU or any of those stocks that follows the market. Again, I guarantee like 15% on your money every single year. If you just, just don't believe me, just look at the, at the charts for it. And then number one, investing in yourself or investing in a business, investing in a, in a venture. Again, if you sell pictures, you sell wooden things, you sell stuff on Etsy, buying more product, taking better quality photos, um, having paying people to, to model on your clothes, um, paying for better quality cameras to take better pictures, paying for advertisements, paying for, you know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do. That's the basic premise. But yeah, man, these are the top three investments that are making millions of dollars, bro. Hope y'all like the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. And let's make that money, man. Peace.